Hi everybody, welcome to Gumpa TV. Hey guys. All right, this is uh, episode 62, but I think it's more yeah. like episode 61 2.0. What we're going to do uh, on this episode, we're not going to show any kits because we're actually filming it a couple days early. Yes. And uh, we're going to go over the rules for the competition because we received some requests for clarification. Yeah, there has been some confusion. A little bit. So so we'll try to tidy up on the YouTube yeah. comments. Yeah. But I think it's mostly because people haven't read the terms and conditions. So we're going to give you another video. We're going to explain everything in more detail because maybe we did not get into enough in the last yeah. episode. And we'll do examples. And we will talk about things. Yes, we will. <laughs> but firstly, I'm going to read some of the rules. Yes, Just these are important. They are listed on the um, terms and conditions on the webpage we asked you to check out, but we're going to read them out here so everybody knows. Yeah. Okay, so entries can be made using any combination of any sci science fiction model kits and materials. Mm -hmm. The only restriction on modification is that no photos can be touched up in order to alter the appearance of any enhancements or imperfections of the kit. There you go. So don't hide any nub marks and things like that in Photoshop. Yep. Bad. Yeah. <laughs> And we know Photoshop. <laughs> you can only enter one category and have one entry into the HLJ.com sci-fi modeling competition. Yeah. We, we had, to, had to elaborate on this a little bit because apparently it was a little bit ambiguous. In our first, no, our no, first it draft, was never it was ambiguous. Like, but it was just, uh, we said you can only enter one category, but we didn't clarify that you can only enter one entry in yes. that category. So you're, you're only going to be able to submit one kit, decide where it's going to go, and uh, send yes. it on in. So no multiple entries, yes. just one entry, and just you pick your entry. category. That, that's yeah. it. So choose well. That's right. Oh, and we'll move you anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not going to read that rule, but yeah. If we feel that you're in the wrong category, yeah. shall be moved. Yeah. Okay, next one. Anyone who enters this competition with a model kit that has appeared on the internet that includes blog posts, work in progress, whip, Forum builds, competitions, review builds, promotions will be ineligible. That means no. That means no. This is, this is actually probably the most important rule. When we did this competition and decided to give out the prizes that we're giving out, uh, we, wanted, we want to see new stuff. And, yes. Uh, it, the Gumpa community on the internet, it's, it's very close. Like uh, you see a lot of the same kits on various sites and you see a lot of entries being entered into various competitions. And one of the things we wanted to stay away from is just the rehashing entries that we've seen in various other yeah. competitions. So we're asking you to actually build a new kit, anything, and send it in. Once this competition is done and the winners are announced, you'll be able to put up your pictures on your work in progress, on your blogs, on your forums, and everything else. Of course, Hobbylink TV as well. But we want to we want to see new stuff. We want to kind of reinvigorate. Yeah, that's a very important portrait is brought up and I'll read this okay. after the competition has ended and the winners announced mm -hmm. entrants can then publish the images online so don't publish them when the competition ends winners have to be announced yeah also with sci-fi HLJ does sponsor a lot of forums mm -hmm. and sci-fi build sites so we are very aware of what's going up and down yeah. on sites so yeah and really what Sid said like we just really want original work you have three mm. months and, and please like uh, we wrote this rule for a reason we, we just explained to you and you know this video went up on Monday and by Monday evening we had a very very good entry in yes. the advanced category which was already all over the internet and uh, even had uh, the internet address in the photos so uh, it, I thought the, internet, the well, rule was pretty I think, clear I think what happened is um, like you really got to read the terms and conditions yeah. before you enter mm -hmm. I think a lot of people might just go straight to the enter page yeah and uh, not read the terms and conditions. The thing is, you have three months to build this. Like, you don't yeah, need yeah, to submit yeah. something that you've built months ago now. Feel free to start a new kit. Yep. Okay, now the next question that we've got quite a few things about. Mm. Only official kits are allowed in the modeling competition, so no knockoffs or garage kits. Mm. So, Sid, um, garage kits. Well, when you talk about, like, knockoffs, garage kits, you know, bootleg kits, uh, we discussed in a previous episode the effect that those have on the yeah, market yeah. and things like that. And also that we are a reseller of officially licensed products. And uh, if our distributors and the companies we deal with see us rewarding people for building non-licensed official products, we could be in a bit of trouble. Yeah. So uh, we're asking that everybody builds an official kit. So if it's got to come from Bandai or Kotobukiya, things like that. If, if uh, it's a scratch-built kit, of course, that's fine too. If you're going to build your own creation, it's scratch-built, it's definitely 
not something that you can pick up anywhere else. That's fine too, but we're going to need to see some pictures of the work in progress for those kind of things. Yes. Now, I think some people might have got confused between scratch builds and garage kits. They are different. Okay. Yes. Wh I think what do you feel the difference is? Well, I think scratch build is when you actually build it yourself. Yes. I think a garage kit is something you've purchased. Yeah. The thing is with the bootlegs, garage kits, they are made by someone else for the purpose of making money. Yeah. And that person that's trying to make the money does not affiliate themselves in any way with the official license holder of the product. Yeah. Okay, cool. So. Well, let's, um, let's get into some questions. All right. We're going to answer your questions and clarify some more rules here. Now, some of these questions we've already answered on YouTube, but I think it might be a good idea to go through them yeah. again. Now, the first three questions actually haven't been answered on YouTube. Also, you're going to hear from here first. Yes. Maybe. <laughs> Uh, question one, what would classify something to be in a higher rank? Let's say I enter a kit into the beginner category, what would make it jump into the intermediate category? Are you allowed to enter a painted kit into the beginner's category? Well, a, a painted kit, if it's painted by a beginner, would qualify for the beginner category. Like, if you paint it by hand with a brush, and it, you know, you can definitely tell that it's not of higher quality, enter into the beginner category, right? I would say avoid painting if you're a beginner. It just looks like <laughs> if it looks bad, we're going to put it in beginner. If it looks great, we're going to put it in advanced yeah. or intermediate. Yeah. It's not going to help you in beginner. Yeah. If, if you paint it badly and it goes in beginner, you're probably not going to win anyway. Yeah. So, so but I think for beginners, I would say keep it simple. Yeah. Yeah. That's that said, there's a lot of people who don't have experience painting, but they want yeah. to try. If you want to try painting, by all means, go ahead, but if it doesn't fit into that intermediate yeah. level of quality, then it'll just be in the beginning yeah. category. But, yeah. I think you can kind of judge where you will yeah. be. You should, you should know yourself what level of a builder you're at. Yeah. Right? If, like, for example, if I was to build something, I would not put it in advanced because there's lots of things I still cannot do and I don't have confidence in. I would put it in intermediate and go from there. Right? But if I would ask my like, uh, buddy down the road who's never built a gun kit before to enter, well, obviously, he knows he's not going to go in the advanced category. No. He's going to go in the beginning. Okay. So, next question. Okay. Is the sci-fi contest available to all countries? You no. Know, countries we don't ship to, which is like South Korea, Nigeria, troubled countries. North Korea. North Korea. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> South, Korea. South Korea. Sorry. Yeah. North Korea, if we can't ship it to you, it's going to be difficult for you to claim your prize. And you probably so. don't have uh, internet, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> if you have the internet, we can ship it to you. Yeah, we ship basically everywhere. There's very yeah. few places. Like it's normally yeah. under a tyrannical <laughs> dictatorship <laughs> with no internet access. <laughs> That's right. So How are you yeah, watching you this video? You don't need to worry. If you can watch this video and download it and stream it without any problems, we can ship to you. That's right. Okay. Next, um, the site rules are confusing. Above, it states that it can be scratch built under advanced grade. However, under the general rule, it states only official kits. I think we answered this yeah, question. Yeah, we talked about this before. A scratch build is definitely not a knockoff. Yeah, right? yeah. It's scratch like, build is something you've created yourself yeah. and would probably put you in the advanced grade. Oh, category. of course. If, like, if you're good at scratch building, you, why would you not go in the advanced yeah, category? Yeah, yeah. Like, you should be competing right. with your peers. That's right. Okay, next one is if I don't have the right specs, I've answered this question, but we'll go through it again, mm -hmm. and have higher pixels for the picture submission, will I be disqualified? Now, I said, no, you won't be disqualified. The reason we have those guides is just to make our lives easier. Yeah. I think um, also if you give us like a 300 DPI image, which is pretty huge, it does take a lot, long time to upload and stuff. Yeah. And, no. So just out of courtesy, if you can try get it as close yeah, as possible. We're going to be, of course, putting these all on the internet when the contest is done, and we're going to be getting hundreds of pictures. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. we want to try and keep the uh, working with those pictures time down, right? We're not going to want to resize everything and yeah. crop ourselves and stuff like that. So. Now, this brings up photography. Now, it's very important for us as judges to have sharp images. Mm -hmm. No... Cell phone blurry camera. photos yeah please guys like just open up your images zoom in and just make sure they're sharp yeah and try not to shoot them on busy backgrounds mm -hmm. it doesn't help you at all like yeah. try to shoot them on a white background or yeah just really keep it simple when you're taking the photos yeah. those people might not have access to uh you know something like a photo booth in their house and things like that just get a piece of white piece of paper and shine some light down on your kit so it's lit enough that we can see what's going on Try use natural light, shoot yeah. near a window. 
yeah. against the white background. That's the best. When you start using artificial light, if you're not careful, it can change the color. Yeah. But yeah, please just keep it simple. Highlight the important aspects of the kit and make sure it's not blurry. Mm -hmm. So we no camera photos by hand in the dark. We are, we're going to have a lot of pictures to go through when we come to judging the winners. And unfortunately, if your pic picture is blurry and we can't actually see the quality of work that's been done on the kit, we're going to have to disregard that entirely yeah. and move on to the next one. So if you want to be evaluated properly, you're going to need to have yeah. good, sharp images. Stabilize your camera. Yeah. You know, grab a friend as a tripod. Mm -hmm. Just If you really want the best chance of winning, make sure your photos are reasonably good. Yeah. Okay, next question. Okay, I have two questions. Please answer, smiley face. If the kit was featured in some place that was not a contest, but something such as completed works, group builds, etc., does it still qualify since it was not featured in any contest? Sorry, mate, no. The so I no. did answer this. Um, as we said, anything that's appeared on the internet before or during this contest will not be eligible. That's right. Yeah. We want to see new stuff. New stuff, new yes. Stuff. Uh, second question, uh, second part. If a contestant enters the contest and theor theoretically wins, does that deny the person from using the kit in future competitions not hosted by HLJ? Well, no, you can enter your kit into other competitions, like once the competition is done. I've noticed hopefully that happens a lot in the Gunpa community, yeah, right, to be honest. You win something and you enter the next thing, and the next thing, and the next thing is, what, don't you want to do something else? <laughs> hopefully the next competition will ban you. <laughs> That's right and force you to work for the We're money. We're trying to set a precedent. Yeah. <laughs> Original work only. Is the shipping free or do we have to pay for it? Now, I did answer this. I yeah. did say uh, for the competition, the winners, we do take care of the shipping. Yeah. Uh, but? We don't take care of import duties and any other things that you might be incurred in your country. But I have found so far with prizes, mm -hmm. normally I put in a letter that says you won a competition. Normally there are no problems. If there are, well, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Normally they go by no problem. Yeah. Occasionally, people will have to pay the customs fees, but yeah. that's the price you pay for winning a competition, I guess. And just to mention, we are not responsible for packages lost in transit. Yeah. So, so make sure no once business. we announce the winners and we contact you, we'll need yeah. to be sure you have the proper address and stuff. Yeah, but yeah. We, can we give you tracking numbers and stuff. And once it leaves yeah. this door, it's out of my hands. Yeah. So if you messed Lose up, it. that's your problem. Uh, Hey, I was wondering if I could make a review of a whoop for a kit and put it on my channel. The kit will be entered in for the... So is this a review of a work in progress for an entry? Yep. So you're going to review the work in progress and not just yeah. show the work in... Sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah, seeing no. as it's going to be showing on the internet, the answer is no. It's just the easiest for us yeah. to do it that way. Videos uh, of a build of a... I don't know what I'm looking at here. Well, this guy says, just to clarify, if I start a new kit now, I won't be able to post anything online until the competition is over. That's right. You have you three months. Absolutely correct. You can build, you can show all your other stuff online, just not the kit that you're going to enter. Yes. So I'm hoping we'll see a lot of, I'm working on my secret HLJ yeah, entry yeah. right now. It's going to be epic. Only in text. That's right. <laughs> with epic in bold. <laughs> yeah. Large <laughs> letters with three exclamation yeah. marks. Um, wait. Since resin kits are not allowed, I don't remember saying that. Does this mean that this entry would be void? Roughly speaking, 85% Bandai MG kit with 15% resin parts. Well, if the base is the official Bandai kit and you're just adding like resin parts, I don't see the problem. We support resin, guys. We uh, sell the B Club, all that resin yeah, stuff. Like, the so five star stories this, is resin yeah, as well. Yeah, B Club, five star stories. Yeah. Any of those official kits are sweet. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> that. Mm hmm. Okay. Is this a question? That could use some clarification in the rules page, I think. The rules say you can only enter one category, but they don't say you can only have one entry. Yeah, we just clarified that. Yes, <laughs> so that's clarified. People are looking for loopholes, I think. Yes. <laughs> I have a question. Say I reviewed a model that has multiple versions and I only reviewed one. Would I still get disqualified? There's a lot of review questions here. I thought we were building kits here. Yes, if you are, um, yes, new kids, please. I think what he's asking, like, say he, I'm assuming, like, this is my fantasy. Okay, he, based on his question. Okay, we he are... built three kids. He showed only one as a okay. review. He has two others, and he's going to be lazy and enter those. Okay. Well, because it's never been on the internet, we cannot check that. Yeah, well, then go ahead and enter it, I guess. You can you know? go ahead then, but yeah. Uh, I was... The purpose is to, you know... We're, you know, we're trying to like get people to pick up kits they might not have done before, put some time and attention specifically for this contest into them, and then submit them. And uh, of course, the contest uh, started last Monday, 
And uh, by Monday night, Tuesday morning, we had people sending their uh, K-Tai, their cell phone camera pictures of their kits in. And, you know, we give you three months to build something. And, you know, please take those three months. And if you don't respect great. your kit, take it with a camera phone. <laughs> and then you'll see if you win. I win. I doubt it. <laughs> Unless it's really, really good. Unless you have some fancy Nikon new phone that has like a 24 megapixel something and a mm. huge fat lens that can make sure your image is in focus. Don't mail it from the smartphone at 24 yeah. <laughs> megapixels. Compress it to a GIF and animate it. <laughs> okay, next question. Does dry brushing and decal application count on the intermediate category? Again, it comes down to the quality of work, but dry brushing is not necessarily a intermediate technique. Like a beginner can dry brush too, it's just the quality of the work is lower. But to evaluate yourself, like where, where do you want that kit to go? Like maybe you think, oh, I'm not too good. I'm going to put it in beginner. And we see it and it's like, wow, this is like really good. We're going to move you to it. Yes. The intermediate. Yeah. Yeah. You decide where you want to be, but you will be moved yeah. if we feel like it. And we say like uh, people want to clarify beginners, just snap fit, remove the nubs and do some panel lines. But I mean, you can apply decals as a beginner as well. Like this guy did it on that airplane. Very so, well. Thank so you very I, much. Just a few air bubbles. You just gotta try. Which you gotta fix. <laughs> Using the techniques you learn from Gumpa TV. Yeah. Anyway. And yes. then once, once you do it, you can evaluate the result and decide where you yeah. want to put it. Yeah. That's perfect. And I think maybe. That's hold it. Hold on. We're hold done. On. Okay, I don't understand the competition. You never once mention what it is you want us to do. Build a random kit to the best of our abilities, if I'm not wrong. I think okay, maybe we you titled this, this kit the uh, Hobby Link Japan Sci Fi Model, model Competition. Link. So please build a sci fi model <laughs> and submit it to Hobby Link yes, Japan. Yes, with it. Sci fi? Yeah. Sci fi, baby. Well, I think he answered his question in the second part. Yeah, he, he knows. Yeah, you know. He just needs some clarification. Yeah, you just needed to say it on the yes. internet. You have to build a kit, that's the thing. Please build it. Yes. <laughs> don't take, just submit pictures of it or anything. Yeah. You're going to submit pictures, but it's not a photo competition. Like you're not <laughs> evaluated on the, the pose of your Gundam as much as the bill of the Gundam. Yes. Okay. Or I have, model. Sci-fi. I have. I have a. I have a question. If I do a review of a kit I built on my YouTube page, I don't know if I need to answer uh, end that question. No, no. I, did you say YouTube and internet? Oh. <laughs> if if I did it on my YouTube, last I checked, YouTube was on the internet. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, for some people, YouTube is the internet. Well, Sid, I think I we YouTube. have covered as much as we possibly can. All right. So, uh, as as this episode was strictly to go over the previous episode's rules and clarify things, we're not actually going to show any kits, but we have a big kit coming uh, tomorrow, and somebody else has got a big kit here that he's uh, you have to drooling watch to next show. Week. I had to acquiesce here and let him show it. But uh, It's almost there. This is the robot mode. Yeah. And uh, I like the spaceship mode as well. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy. It's big. It's big. And it does a lot of moving. Yeah. He, um, he has a very small head though. Yeah. Sadly. All right. Well, but, next uh, yeah. week I next will week. have assembled hopefully the mega size age one normal. How big and is the we're gonna have a, size ooh, that? It's, it's, yeah. We're going to have a we big, have a battle. big mech battle next week. Don't yeah. talk about knees, okay? Yeah. You can see it in your eyes. Mine articulate. <laughs> I can't even build a kit and I already know it. This yeah. articulates a little bit. It transforms and mine does not, yeah. etc. All right. Before we get too, too far off the beaten track yeah. here. I would like to say though, like, mm -hmm. because of all the questions we were asked, it did help us clarify the rules. Yeah, so of course. Thank you for asking the questions. Yeah. Yeah. We realize when we write the rules down, like it makes sense to us, but we know what we're looking yeah. for. And then we put the rules online and we get these questions. It's good feedback. So now we know uh, going forward what we need to clarify, what we need to look for. And also if in the future, if we're doing this again, you know, exactly what we need to state. So. And in our terms and conditions, it does say we can change the rules whenever we want. That's right, because we hold that power. Yeah. So, but yeah, thank you. And I hope this helps. Yeah. And now we just look forward to awesome entries. That's right. And judging from the response so far, lots of people are interested. So um, we're going to see a lot of great stuff in the next few months. Sweet. And come March, Big explosion of gunplay goodness. Of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Some, lots of people are gonna get lost. Yeah. All right. Okay. So until next week, see you later. See you later.